Hello everyone, it's good to see you back. If you're looking for the best way to get advanced neural circuits quickly and in large amounts, then all you need to do is follow this farming method which will grant you a high yield each time and is simple to run. There are two methods to this, depending on how you want to do this. I will show you both. The first method is to go to White Knight Gulch, the mountaintop, and then select the borderline of Truth Mission located near the bottom left of the map. This mission can be done on both easy or hard, but I found easy to be faster overall. This mission will spawn three elite enemies who all drop the following consumables after being defeated, and this mission overall takes about two minutes to complete, give or take. With how close the mission start point is, it will take you only five seconds to restart it again and thus collect a large amount of circuits in a small time frame. With a bunny or vowel beam on hand with wide AoE, I can see this area being fairly quick for those who have other things to do. You do get mods, shards and gold from this area, but it's not one of the best ways to farm them though. The second option is to do Fortress Outskirts, which is located on White Knight Gulch, Shipman Base on the top right of the map, and should be the very first normal mission you see near your camp. Although it says it will take 15 minutes or less to do, you can actually do this in about 2-4 to four minutes instead, depending on the character you have. If you have someone like Bunny or Valby around, you can easily do this in 3 minutes as long as you have a good amount of health and defense to back you up. This mission has a 10 minute timer where you need to capture key points, but what makes this really worth the investment is how the enemies don't stop spawning until the objective is complete or if you fail. There are multiple elite enemies who will spawn after certain points, and these enemies after being defeated will drop advanced neural circuits quite a bit. Although this one is a bit more lengthy, it will give you a bigger yield for the amount of circuits you get. On top of that, it's also a good spot to get gold, shards, XP and mods in a large amount. If you're not in a rush and you want to benefit more from the farm, then this mission right here is the best to run with if you can handle a large amount of enemies spawning non-stop. So there we have it. I hope you all enjoyed this guide. If you have any thoughts on the content shared, then please leave a comment below. While well, if you enjoy the content and want more of these videos, then leave a like and sub while you're here. It was great sharing today's video with you all, and I hope to see you again soon.